And here we go on Cooler Talk, folks. A lot of you guys just seen UConn get upset by Michigan. Hey, look, it happens. It's the Final Four. Anybody's good to beat anybody. A couple things to get at you guys before I bring out my guest. I want to say the new 2009 PGA Tour uh, pamphlets, brochures have come out. Take a look. We also want to thank our new sponsor, FedEx. You guys are doing a great job. We appreciate you guys. And also, we are now 11 days away from our tournament, the Heritage uh, the Heritage Golf Tournament. You got the Masters next week, and then we're up. So anyway, my next guest, Christine. She goes to the School of College of Charleston. Plays a lot of tennis. We're going to talk some tennis, and there's also a surprise in there for you guys. So let's bring out my next guest, Christine. Okay, we get settled in here. A uh, couple things here. First of all, what, what are you drinking? Everybody gets a show on the drink. Um, I think I have some sex on the beach. Do you? Is that is that prepared here in the cooler? It's one of my favorites. Oh wow! Look, it is. My assistants, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. (laughs) Okay. Well, first thing on tap. I understand you play ten sets a week. Approximately, yeah. What is that like? I mean. Just an avid tennis player. I play a lot of tennis. Um, a lot of times I have some tournaments on the weekends that I do. Um. Pretty much this week, um, I had a tennis match yesterday, which I didn't play my best, but I came out on top, three sets. Yes. And today, unfortunately, I lost. <laughs> but it was three sets. I won the first set 6-2, coming out strong. Tough couple um, sets at the end, but then, you know, I lost. Which, I played like 14 matches um, since the beginning of the USTA season. In, USTA. Um, at the end of, the end cool. of February cool. through now, and I've played about 14 matches, and I've won every one but three. I mean, does does the physical attribute, obviously physicality in tennis is big, and your fitness, and Federer attests to that, but what about your, your overall strength? I mean, she looks like a strong person. Is that her game? Serena has some variety to her game, but I think mostly it's just power. She's pretty strong, and... She works with that. Um, this, I, I got this on tap for you folks. Apparently, Serena was involved with a match against uh, Sharapova, I want to say a few years ago, and it turns out that Sharapova, for every time, and this came out in the media, statistics media rating, they said that media-wise, Sharapova got shown 13 more times than Serena did in a match. <laughs> what well, is that all about? Is it, does... Are we talking about women, how you look, more camera? What are we talking about? I mean, I think Sharapova is way more attractive than Serena. <laughs> um, you know, okay. when you look good in your tennis outfit, it's definitely going to cause a lot more action. You're like going to get like shot it. a little bit more. Which brings me to my next question. What happened to Anna Kornikova? Can somebody tell me? Oh. Yeah, Anna Kornikova, I mean, <laughs> she... <laughs> She's a good looker. She is. But what she, happened to her? Why did she play tennis? I think she focused a lot more on her modeling career and a lot more on Enrique Iglesias. You know that video that she was in yeah. with him? I mean, she really did. Um, she went from practicing a couple times a week to not at all, I feel like. And I feel like she just totally went for her looks more than she did her tennis. But she had a good chance. And that's what ultimately doomed her. Yeah. I feel like I feel like she could have been a good player, but she didn't put enough effort and she just decided her looks were better than her tennis game. Gotcha. Okay. Ashley Harkin Harkle Road. What is that all about? This is I getting in emails about this, phone calls. What is up with that? She definitely posed nude in Playboy. She posed nude in Playboy. Yeah. Ashley Hart. And I saw her at a tournament at my hometown. And um, like she was a good player, a genuinely good player. And I mean, I don't know if she's going down the same road that Anna Kornikova did or what, but <laughs> she definitely, I mean, just out of the blue, posed nude. I don't know. Apparently not focusing as much on her tennis as her looks. I'll be interested to see how well she does. And here we go. Anna Ivanovich. Ivanovich. What's Anna the name Ivanovich. Anna Ivanovich. She is one of the newest, hottest, hottest babe. She just so she's like the Rory McIlroy of golf. 
Yeah, I mean, she just she just won a big one, and I think she's got a bright future ahead of her. She's cute. She'll get a lot of media time, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> Maria. Wow. I like but that. I think she's a good, good player. She's got some strong, strong weapons, and I think she'll do well. Especially, she's young. I mean, she's got a lot ahead of her. She's got a great so future. So I think she'll, I, like I think she'll win some big ones coming and, up. And finally, I'm gonna go ahead and close. This is all divisional. Um, we have, of course, UConn just went down to Michigan State as a light to the Final Four. Uh, you know, escapade. I understand you brought something to the I show. I did. And this is rare, folks. I did. Usually, I'm the giver. So <laughs> what? What do we got here? Can we take a look, folks? I made a cake. It's supposed to look like a basketball. I hope it does. Wow. Can we, can we show this to the camera? Can we lean it? It's a, That actually says Final Four. Final Four NCAA. Wow. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited that MSU won. I'm looking forward to the Villanova UNC game. Um, oh, that looks good. Predictions. I think, I think, Predictions. I think I might be rooting for UNC to win just because, you know, South Carolina, North Carolina are really close. Ooh. And I know I have some I have some good friends that are from, you know, going to UNC. So we're gonna put that I'm working on, on that. Vince, who you got in the game? I like Villanova, folks. You know me. Roly Massimino, baby. Let's do it. Roly. Hey, oh, look at me. So. Roly, how many times did you avoid me in the hallways, man? I chased you down. You still don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, folks. Off Cooler Talk. Great show, Christine. Thanks for coming on. Thank